Seven months after a jury couldn't decide Ray Tenzing's fate, another jury starts from the beginning. Tenzing is on trial again for the death of Sam DuBose. And once again, body camera video and race is front and center. And Jeanette Levy takes us through opening statements. The state will submit that in this case, the evidence will show that this is clearly a murder. In a brief opening statement, the state said Sam DeBose didn't have to die because the video will show he didn't drag Ray Tenzing. Tenzing's attorney claims he was dragged and that DeBose wouldn't have died if he had complied with the order to get out of the car. Stu Matthews also addressed the question of race. This is not a guy, they want to portray him as a racist. He wasn't a racist, he wasn't a hard hit, no nonsense cop. <laughs> Jurors saw Tenzing's body camera video that showed the fatal stop. Tenzing pulled over DeBose because he didn't have a front license plate. UC officer Philip Kidd went to back up Tenzing after hearing DeBose's vehicle was slow to stop. UC officers were instructed to make traffic stops to address crime in the area. Were you ever told to go out and stop uh, African Americans? No. Were you ever told to go out and stop white people? No. How about Asians? No. Martians? No. Officer Kidd's body camera showed an exchange with Tenzing right after the shooting. He's dragging me. Yeah, I saw that. I was going to get run over. I was trying to stop him. As he did in the first trial, Kidd testified he didn't see Tenzing being dragged. Can you let the jury know why you said you saw that if you didn't see him being dragged? I saw Officer Tenzing moving with the vehicle, and when he said he was dragged, it's certainly a possibility. So I wasn't going to sit there and argue with him. Kid said he heard tires squealing and then saw DeBose's car move before hearing the gunshot. There was a focus on how Tenzing didn't follow his training that day. Officer Kid testified he trains officers to not reach in vehicles, as Tenzing did that day, but he conceded it happens. Donetta Bailey of the Black Lawyers Association says that's a critical point. If a prosecution can show that Ray Tenzing deviated for, from his own training, that he now has a problem with why he used deadly for, force, and did he act the way a reasonable officer with like training would have acted in the same circumstance. Testimony will resume tomorrow morning. The jury will hear from two civilian witnesses, including one who will contradict part of Officer Kidd's testimony. They'll also hear from a homicide detective who investigated this case. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. The jury is made up of mostly women. Nine of the jurors are white, three are black. We will have three reporters at the courthouse for this entire trial. You can follow the testimony at local12.com.